what is up youtube welcome back again it's a buddy techno boy and i am making another studio amplifier it's a mosfet one and uh, that is the main amplifier kit studio channel left and right and uh, this thing is having like 150 watt per channel so total would be 300 watt that's a transformer and that's a bass travel kit and this is just uh, uh, simply connected just to test it two five inch uh, subwoofers are there so it's connected here so i have connected everything uh, just to test the base trouble kit if it's working fine or no and also the overall things everything is uh, fine and then i'm gonna fix everything inside of this uh, enclosure cabinet right there so it's all connected and turned on and here you can see the red light coming from the circuit board that's the light uh, for the indication that the, the kit is fine and it's working fine so when the light is blinking or gone then you must understand the kit is bad or something like that so here using this RC socket and cord it's connected to my mobile phone so let's play one songs uh, just remember just to test it because these are like simple subwoofers so you cannot hear very good sound from this thing so all the highs and lows all will, will be coming from this two speakers only so let's check it out I have just uh, finished it and it's not completely done yet just need to put two fans right there but except that everything else is done this was one of my customers uh, Carmen he gave me this uh, cabinet he was having for a long time and asked me to build a amplifier a studio one so that's the front side of it and this thing is not having any uh, like conventional Bluetooth kit with the display right there it's all sealed at the front but still it has the bluetooth i'm going to show you that right now so that's the front side i didn't use the handlebar at the front right there on the both side back because that doesn't look good with the, all the amplifiers so i put the screws and washer right there and it's not uh, looking bad because customer wanted the flat front side like old ones uh, very long back we used to have amplifier just like this so that's the front side that's the on a switch right there and that's the LED light right there power light and that's the main volume control and that's the balance and that's the bass and treble and that's the like input like this DVD, it's not connected, only USB is connected for the Bluetooth kit and the aux is connected for the rear uh, input connections and these two are nothing, nothing is connected there. So that's the front side, very clear, uh, plain design, not much of a color and all the stuff like that. So it's quite good. So now. Let's go to the inside. Here, that's a 26 volt transformer, 26026, and another is 120. So, that's the output for the main circuit board, like 26026, going to this circuit board. It's a 300 watt power amplifier circuit, MOSFET one, and I cannot show you the other side right now. So this thing is having the rectified kit inside of it with the capacitors, uh, diode and all. Everything is in there. So you just need to connect the transformer to the kit and that's it. It's done. 
And for the other power supply, the 12 volt, I have connected one big dog and a 4700 MFD 35 volt capacitor to filter the 12 volt to DC. And from there, the 12 volt is going to this base travel kit and also going to this chain. It's a 7805 IC 5 volt converter for the Bluetooth chip. There is a Bluetooth chip, you can see. I mounted this on the amplifier kit right there. That's the input connection. And here you can see that's the input for the Bluetooth. And on the other side, that's the input for the aux, which is coming from the rear. Here you can see that's the shielded wire going to the rear box right there. See the RCA connection here. There it is. So only these two are connected here. That's the RC connection and uh, also the LED uh, light is connected here with a resistance right there and also these two fans are going to be connected here only this thing is left so I'm going to connect one fan uh, for inside blowing like it will blow the air to the kit from the outside it's like inlet and I'm going to use one as an outlet so this thing will blow the air from outside to inside to directly to this kit heat sink right there so it's going to keep it cool and this thing will blow the air out so all the heat from the inside it will go out through this fan so i'm going to mount this two fan just right like that so that's basic thing of it and here main volume control and there's a balance and as a treble and uh, bass and here grounding is there right there to the chassis so here you can see it's pretty clean and uh, simple M uh, this is a very powerful one now I'm gonna turn this thing on and check a little bit of sound uh, I have connected to this two bookshelf speakers mini one with five inch upper and one inch dome tweeter Right now I don't have bigger box like that. I'm gonna do that later. Let me turn this thing on. Yeah, it's connected to my mobile phone right there. You can see Bluetooth 3.0 BT. So now let's play some songs from here and check out the sound. So from the sound you can understand how good and powerful amplifier this is because those two like five inch small woofers they are not like heavy duty woofers they are a normal low wattage woofer they are producing very good bass and pressure and also the loudness so 
just seeing how much a 12 inch woofer or a 15 inch woofer will produce you can connect a 15 inch woofer to this kit too as i have one and i'm going to show you that in a later video because that is not ready only woofer is here so i need to connect a tweeters to that and then i will uh, check the sound with this amplifier too but for now just check uh, these two small speakers how uh, good they are working connection <laughs>